Welcome back everyone to more Black Mirror. We just arrived at Willow Creek. Seeking more information. Hello, Harry. Welcome back, Mr. Gordon. Have you come to get a bite? What do you mean? Oh, come on. I know your Bates is not exactly a great cook. It's not so bad. I have no reason to complain. All right, if you say so. Do you remember our conversation yesterday on how nothing ever happens around here? Sure I do. Well, unfortunately, something did happen. Oh, you mean Henry. How do you know? Well, news travels around here fast. Poor Henry. He was a good regular. We sure drank a fair amount together. So how long had you known one another? Since the time he started working for the manor. Which in fact means the day he arrived here. I remember when he first showed up, all sweaty with a suitcase in each hand. He took no time to order the two pints right away. I knew right off that we would understand each other. Did he have any friends in the neighborhood? Hmm, probably not. You see, he was kind of a loner. I don't think he knew anyone else. He used to only come here. Thanks anyway, Harry. You're welcome, Mr. Gordon. All right, that wasn't a whole lot of information, but it was information nonetheless. I have nothing to ask about. Mr. Samuel, what a great big bang that was, eh? The second greatest today, I'll bet. Hi, Vic. Are you counting the thunder? Right. Why are you sitting here like this in the rain? Wouldn't you rather be at home? I don't mind the rain. And also, I can't go home. You can't? You're in trouble, aren't you? Well, it's that broken window from yesterday. Harry told my dad, you know, so I'm not exactly hurrying home. Oh, I see. I have to go now. Be careful of the windows next to you. I will. Throwing my ball to the other side would be a lot safer. Be careful of your dad's backhand, too. I know that one too well. We don't want to leave Willow Creek. I need to talk to you. Go ahead, but make it quick. Tell me, did you know Henry Stanton? No, I didn't. Should I have known him? Well, he worked as a gardener for us, but he died yesterday. Hmm. Sounds like I'll get to meet him soon now. You want anything else? I'm not interested in company. No, I'll leave you alone. Good morning.
Might be good for you. What do you want? You said yesterday that you used to help in our garden. A couple of times, yes. So you knew Henry, our gardener, right? Yes. I don't want to talk about him after what has happened. You guilty bitch! When did you bitch. last speak with him? Well, yesterday evening. I met him just a short distance off the road to the village. What time was that exactly? I don't want to talk about it. I already told you that. I don't feel like getting involved in anything. I'm not the police. You needn't worry. What did you speak about? It was just a couple of sentences. I'm not sure. Was he acting normal? I mean, was he sober? Yeah, he was. That's for sure. It's true that he used to drink a lot, but he didn't drink every day. And yesterday, he was sober. I would have noticed. Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. So, Henry was still sober in the evening, and they found him drowned at dawn. That doesn't make much sense. Unless he was... Dun, dun, dun. I have nothing... I'm surprised Harry didn't bother to cover it up. Good morning. How can I help you? A few days ago, a man pawned a certain object here. An article similar to this one. I remember Henry pawned something that looked like that. Yes, that's true. I'd like to redeem the object. Certainly, sir. It's 35 pounds. And I require the bill of exchange with the owner's signed agreement, of course. I'll give you the money, but you see, I haven't got that bill. Sir, surely you know that I cannot return any pawned object without the corresponding bill of exchange. I can understand why you do not want to release it without the bill, but I will pay for it. I'm sorry, that's the rules. That object is very important to me. I am willing to pay a special price. That's possible, but how fair would it be to the owner if I sold their property to somebody else within the pawn period? According to the rules, the object belongs to them until the expiration date of the note has been passed. Murray, Henry can't possibly redeem it. How do you know that? He's dead. Dead? I'm truly sorry to hear that, but I'm afraid the owner's death changes nothing. The person who presents a valid bill of exchange and pays the designated price can redeem the object at any time, then. Please try to understand that I haven't got it. Wouldn't the money be enough? I'm sorry. You can wait until the pawn period expires. That's not an option. In that case, I'm afraid I can't help you, sir. How about I let you recalculate the price? Shall we say double? Hmm. No, that's quite impossible. I don't want to lose my license because of your okay, offer. Okay, triple. Although I've got to admit it's very decent. There's nothing I can do. There are only 12 days left. Then you can have it. I've heard various things about you all right. But I thought you were more into money. What do you mean by that? What have you heard, and from whom? That doesn't matter now. Let's get a few things straight, Murray. We both know that all you care about is money. You're going to make me come back a few times and then negotiate a new price. So why don't we just skip all that and you tell me how much right now? What did you say? Keep your damn money to yourself. Even loan sharks have their pride. From now on, we will only continue this conversation as a seller and a buyer. What else do you want? 
Calm about down. to kick this old man's I didn't ass. I not mean to upset you like that. I must find Henry's bill of exchange, no matter what. Murray isn't going to give me anything without it. Well, you tried to strong arm him, not at me. Dr. Herman told me I could get some photographic toner here. Have you got any? You're lucky. I've still got a couple of bottles left. Oh, I don't go to town every day, you see. Here it is. Thanks. Bye. That ended better than I thought it would. A chemical toner for photo development. All right, we got the Tony Tone Tone Toner. Hmm. I can't see anything I need. I would like to take these justice scales home with me. I don't want to buy any of these things. It's mostly garbage. We can weigh things with that, though. When it's raining, the steps are so slippery. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I have nothing to ask about. Can I help you? I want to ask about some. Harry, tell me, is Mark reliable? Well, that depends. He's not exactly a saint, you see. But I reckon he'll do what you tell him for a pound or two. May I bother you for a moment? Well, if you must. Tom told me you worked for Dr. Herman from time to time. Tom tends to have a bit too much to say. I've been unemployed for some time now, so I've been taking what odd jobs are offered to me. I've got to make money somehow, and it sure is better to do stuff for Dr. Herman than that dirty bastard Mary. Well, I need a certain favor from you. As a matter of fact, it has to do with Dr. Herman. Hmm. So what's the deal? This is what I want you to do. I'm listening. I need you to come to his house at a particular time and keep him busy for a couple of minutes. Ring the doorbell and wait until he comes upstairs. Talk about whatever you want. Just keep him there for as long as you can. Well... I don't quite like that plan to tell you the truth. It doesn't look exactly innocent, does it? Also, if Herman learned about my getting involved in some scam on him, he'd never hire me again. Ah, you better find someone else for this. Look, I don't expect this for nothing. And that's supposed to be surprising? How much does Dr. Herman pay you? That depends on what he wants from me. No, you don't understand. I mean, what is the maximum he has ever paid you? Six pounds per day, with food, I guess. I'll give you ten. That's not bad for a couple of minutes, is it? Ten? Well, the money is nice, but... You see, these days I at least have a shared job from Dr. Herman. No, I can't do it. All right. I'll give you 20. Take it or leave it. 20? Damn. I haven't had so much money clink in my pocket for quite some time. 20 pounds take home and it's a deal. 10 now and 10 later. 
Okay then. What time should I show up? About a quarter an hour after I leave the pub. Make sure you're on time, otherwise you get nothing. Damn. Oh, he's already got ten. I'll be there. <laughs> he's getting something. Sammy boy. I walked quickly to the morgue to get there before Mark. I hope ran. he'll show up on time, as we have agreed. Why'd you walk? You should have ran. You gotta be soaking fucking wet. Yes? Samuel Gordon. Uh, please let me in, Doctor. I need to speak. Yes, I am downstairs. Okay, we know. We know the drill. Can I speak with you for a moment, Dr. Herman? Yes, but I told you I have no news. This needs time, so if you keep interrupting me... No, no. I'm here because of something else. Yes? Well, the thing is... So what is it you want, Gordon? I do not have the whole day for you. Where the blazes is that mark? Did you say something? No, you see, I just... Now who could that be? Damn! Dude just walks out. Who is there? Wait for me here, I will return shortly. Of course. You needn't hurry. I thought my blood pressure was going to hit boiling point. Now where's that bloody bill of exchange? Maybe I should start with his table. There's a label with Henry's name on this box. Henry's Bill of Exchange. Excellent. Hmm. A piece of plastic for making imprints. It could come in handy. Lots of things, but nothing I'd need. to the garbage container at the front of the morgue is in this bundle. I wonder what Herman was disposing of so quickly. It must be the large one. The other keys are small. I can't pick it up right now. Herman would surely notice. But we can make an imprint of it. I made an imprint of the key in the plastic. Herman is returning. I can hear him on the steps. Are you looking for something in particular? No, of course not. Well, I've never been to a morgue before. I'm just curious. You have some odd interests. I can see that. What were we talking about? Uh, I've forgotten completely. It can't have been anything important. So be it, then. I do not have the time to be talking to you constantly. No offense intended. Oh, it should be me who's apologizing. I won't disturb you any longer. See you, Doctor. Goodbye, Gordon. Oh, forgot to give him his toner. Yes? that toner for you.
So, can you develop my film now? Why not? But come back later. I have to finish my work before I can do the pictures. What is so important about this film that you have come to me with it? You will see that for yourself, Doctor. They may be important, or they may be completely useless. Alright, we have to have this key made now. What will it be? Harry, you know everyone around here. Would you happen to know someone who can make a key? Well, I'm not sure if he's the man for the job, but Mark here has a few skills. Just ask him. All right. Thanks. Is there anything I... I'd like to redeem the object we talked about, Murray. Surely you remember you must present a valid bill of exchange. Don't worry. I have it. Here. Hmm. Yes. Everything seems to be all right. It's 40 pounds, sir. Didn't you say 35 at first? Oh, you're right. Excuse me, I've made a mistake. Sure. I'll go get it for you right away. I'll leave that for him. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's a lot like this object here. It's our new cool compass. The parts have clicked into one another. What is it you want this time? It won't take long. Okay, I'm listening. I need someone to make a key for me. Harry said you can do it. A key's no problem. Give me the original and I'll bring it back with a copy in a little while. And it's for free. I'll just assume it's part of our deal today. Trouble is, I only have an imprint. Hmm. That's going to be a lot harder. I've never tried it with an imprint before. Just give it to me and pick up the result in an hour or so. I'll see what I can do. Good. Here it is. See you later. I can see you wasted little time spending my money. It's mine now and I'll spend it however I want. I have no problem with that. Did you have enough time to do what you needed? Yes, I did. But maybe you could have rung a bit earlier. What were you doing down there anyway? That's none of your business, really. Yeah, I've got no problem with that. If you need something again, you know where to look for me.
All right, now we got to kill some time while he makes our key. So we'll do the good old in and out trick. You know, that's what they like. How about a pipe for Mr. Gordon? No, thanks. Maybe later. Have you seen Mark around? No, he hasn't. He's probably got some work to do. How are you looking for him? Hmm? Not real. Yeah, I want my fucking key. I would like to. Okay. Have you seen? No. What will it be? I'd like to. Have you seen? He was supposed to. I. He popped in just a moment ago, but went somewhere right away. But he's left this key for you here. <laughs> Just gonna stare at me? Are you gonna give me Thanks. my fucking key, man? Jesus, awkward. The key looks ratty as shit. A copy mark made of Herman's key. Haven't talked to Robert in a while. Stop by and make sure that we've exhausted dialogue with him. I need to speak with you, Robert. Sure. Robert, I'd like to ask you a rather peculiar question. Peculiar? I am listening. Right. Here it is. Is it possible for a recently deceased body to be completely bereft of blood? No blood whatsoever. Certainly did not expect such a strange question. What do you mean? Well, is there a way to drain the blood out of the body? Let me think. No. I believe it's quite impossible. A lot of blood remains in a person, even after they have bled to death, if that is what you mean. Strange, indeed. Why are you asking this? Does it have anything to do with Henry's death? No, it doesn't. It just occurred to me. I've known you for a long time, Samuel, and I can tell when you're lying. But you can keep it to yourself. I will not interrogate you. Henry caused his own death, and now it's a case for the police. Of course. Robert is right. This is Collier's case. I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. Back to the morgue. Yeah? We need our pictures. Hopefully they're done. If they're not, we'll have to screw around and come back. I'd like to ask you about something, Dr. Herman. Go ahead, Gordon. Have you developed that film for me? Not yet, Gordon. You I have son of a bitch. So we're going to search the dumpster here in good time, but the first thing we want to do is get our pictures. Best way to do that is just leave the location. Go back. 
This was pretty typical of some of the older I classic the bell. point and click adventures was you'd have to you would have to leave and come back to the screen to let time pass. Or sometimes just have a random event yeah. occur. Some, yeah, I Especially common in the King's Quest games where a wolf will come and attack you in the forest or the, the fairy will come bless you in the fields. But it was all set up to be kind of random. Can I speak? Hold. Yes. Doctor. Have you got sure? I have put them on top All of right, the All right, our photos are ready. There. Thanks for your time. The bottom is stained, probably by dried blood. I'll put the pictures in my diary. Found on the wall of the tower, and the one found on the wall of the fountain. All right, let's see if our key fits. Goddamn rib cage in here. Is that the normal? stink of decaying flesh is forcing tears into my eyes. Disgusting. Tied up bags, oozing blood. I'm not touching that. Human remains. Shouldn't they be buried deep in the ground? Hmm. The pockets are empty, but I feel something hard inside. Hmm. The pocket. The gem has perfectly smooth edges. Yeah, we cut a gem out of the clothes. All the parts have clicked together perfectly. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Black Mirror soon to come.